If ever there was a test case for the Bilbao effect, it's here, in Eskishahir. Few people outside Turkey have heard of this historic city between Istanbul and Ankara, yet it's set to change as more and more interesting projects are mushrooming around the vibrant city. The Renaissance is led by a progressive municipality, as well as motivated private initiatives. One of those is a new ambitious cultural landmark, Odin Pazari Modern Museum, also known as OM. Designed by Kengo Kuma and Associates, the museum is already drawing crowds of contemporary art lovers. Tucked in between Ottoman-style wooden residences on one side and big modern boulevards on the other, the museum becomes a gateway to a historic neighbourhood of Odin Pazari. The name, which literally means wooden market, represents the area's dense and labyrinthine streetscape. So we wanted to integrate that as part of the architectural uh, language implemented into the new Museum of Om. That's how we got the inspiration of the stacking of the boxes and relate to the city yeah, in a way that you have still the sense of familiarity, but then the freshness, the newness is, is there. Such urban settings also inspired the architecture studio to use timber for the warmth, texture and its relation to place and its memory. The building represents a convergence of Turkish and Japanese building traditions. The timber engineering mastery takes inspiration from local mosques and Islamic architecture to provide the museum with light and spacious volumes. We designed this atrium that takes in the light like a light well and it spreads very softly and gently to the um, exhibition spaces around. So in that sense, and we avoid its uh, direct lights into the artworks, but it certainly becomes a central feature that softly lights up the space around. Commissioning international artists, as well as putting locals in the frame, the museum's already become an umbrella for people to gather under and create. In possession of a thousand pieces in the collection, OM's team, with Idil Tamancha at the forefront, has an opportunity to come up with a new and fresh exhibition twice a year. Yet the curators are looking to offer more than just a showcase of art. We don't want it to be just people coming here and looking at the, the art, but also like people here connecting through the art. So I think that's why we call ourselves a platform rather than a museum, because we're trying to break that perception that museums are sort of static and something to be something that you won't understand or something that is too sort of sophisticated for you. The team also engages with the neighbourhood by challenging its many glass blowers, woodworkers and ceramicists to create more contemporary objects for OM's retail and hospitality offering. From the plates that they use at the museum cafe to the clothing selection, they collaborate with local artisans and businesses all across the city. Müze e, açıldıktan sonra ya daha doğrusu ben onlarla çalışmaya başladıktan sonra bana etkisi bana bir vizyon kattı, bir farklı bakış açısı yarattı. Biraz geleneksel bir e, bakış açım varken daha moderne kaydı ve bundan daha keyif almaya başladım. We produced 85 pieces in here, uh, which was good for me and for our team to focus on a project like that big. I'm very happy that we were able to show people that it can get like different shapes, even if it's something that you're using for your salad, it can be very interesting to look at it. Home to one of the biggest student populations in Turkey, the city is indeed boiling with creative energy. With its artist collaborations and education programs, OM is becoming a platform for local voices to be developed and amplified. As a person who's teaching at the university, I think my students get a great benefit from this museum because they need to go to Istanbul or Ankara to meet good art. But now we have seminars, we have a great collection at the museum. I can take my students here and show different types of work. Open communication and outreach programs help OM to stir the emerging local art scene too. One of the newly set up hotbeds of art is the Eldam Art Gallery. After I moved here, we make this idea to turn this place, renovate this place and turn it into a contemporary art museum. But it was very hard actually because there were no such things in here. But when I heard that OM is going to be built and there, there is going to be a huge museum, I felt really powerful. Despite the influx of energy, the situation remains challenging, as 70% of Turkish people have never visited a cultural institution. Thus, breaking the highbrow image of the museum will be essential to challenging the status quo and making culture more inclusive and accessible. When I look back, 
I don't have any memories of my parents taking me to the museum because they didn't exist. We had to go abroad to go to a museum. And I think it's very important to create that kind of experience for people who don't necessarily live in Istanbul. I believe the museum in modern time, our time, it has a different uh, sense of presence to the city. It needs to be as open and as accessible to the public as possible, and not just to view the arts and enjoy the arts. So that extent, and we always look at the, making the museum as extended living room. Homeliness is rarely a characteristic of contemporary art museums, but OMS generous public spaces and warm wooden architecture encourage visitors to linger. This shows that museums today should not just be a mere repository for art, but a space where new ideas are conceived and relationships forged. <laughs>